whatever. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Um... Oh, darling, you're home. Are you ready for dinner or should I get a bath going? Wait, is this a boyfriend or are you fucking married? Wait, Hina, that's more like a stereotypical 1950s married couple than anything. Oh, different approach then? Well, That's you lied to me. You said you left your wife. <laughs> hey, Hina. Can you be Anastasia? <laughs> oh, shit. That's even worse. Really? You mean, I can't even get a practice run right? Welcome, Goomers, to another episode of Danganronpa. You're here with Kumar. This time, we're continuing off school mode where we were last time. And I just came back from Japan yesterday. And it was my birthday the day before. So thank you very much for all the birthday wishes on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on the comment section. Yes, this video is released a little bit later because it does take a little bit to edit and upload. But live streaming uh, will become available soon because Fiber Optic is actually getting installed just on the street above mine, which is the main road. So Fiber Optic should be coming in within about a month or two. And then we can start live streaming and then we can live stream Ultra Despair Girls in V3, which I'm super excited for. I know I use the start of this video as a little bit of an update, but that's what's happening. So thank you very much for the birthday wishes. Thank you very much for all the wishes for good luck on my competitions. I have another one coming up in two-ish weeks. So I'm training every day after I do my editing and my playing, which is really cool. Uh, so yeah, for those of you just joining us, welcome to school mode. If you haven't at least played or watched someone else play Danganronpa 1 and 2, and at least watch the anime, please go do that because there will be a lot of discussions and spoilers. So I don't want to ruin it for you, so please don't spoil it for yourself. Alright, let's get started. Thrills, chill. <laughs> oh, here we are in school mode and Mr. Monokuma is going to update us on what is going on. Mr. Monokuma, I forgot what is going on. I may have brain damage. Sakura-chan is on three hearts. We have to get her up to ten. And Mukuro is on zero, so we have to spend more time with Mukuro. But since we're spending time with Sakura-chan and that's just to progress her hearts, there may not be a lot of discussions with Senpai because we did that in the last one. But I'm really curious to see what our hobo Mukuro is doing because I never knew she had such an interesting personality. But we are going to have to pick someone else because we can't only spend time with one person. That just wouldn't work. But... I think I'm not going to do any more of these Monokuma challenges for trip tickets. I'm just going to use it to boost the levels of all my characters. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of time very quickly. Samokuro! Come on! Give me something! What would you like to do with Junko? Oh yeah, they call it Junko. Ah, uh, let's spend time together. In the laundry. Oh, okay. I don't mind hanging out, but you better keep me entertained. Ah, oh, playing hard to get again, I see. I spent some time with Junko, but... Oh my god, that rape smile. Junko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Junko a present? Definitely I would. I have no roses. Shit. It's funny that both Mukuro and Sakura-chan enjoy the War God Talisman. It's a B for her, but... You know, I, I, I'm out of presents and I don't have any rations. I, I'm surprised I can't give her a cake or something. Maybe she'd take insult to that. She's probably watching her carbs. Wait, that's got sugar and fat. This is just for me? Why does she always look so surprised like I did something so stupid? I don't know why. Like, oh my god, adorable. <laughs> Let me give you a little peck on the cheek to say thanks. This is like the second time you're doing this tonight, yes, what a god. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Maybe she's only doing it to leave lipstick on his cheek. So the other girls would see lipstick on his cheek. So they think that, you know, he's a player. So they don't spend time with him. Women are like that. They're calculating. Guys are stupid. We're retarded. We don't calculate like this. Women are unbelievably calculating. And we only sort of hit their level of maturity at the age of like 24, 25, 26. Up until then, women are a lot more mature than men. Which is why in high school, we're there playing games and 
Stuff like that and girls are already thinking about, oh, you know, who can I date and stuff. Shut up. We're idiots. Hmm. Oh, God, here we go. Hey, Makoto, can I tell you something? Okay, for some reason in my head, something came up about I used to be a mother before, and I had a baby on the battlefield. Don't spoil that reference, guys. Don't spoil it, but you know who I'm talking about. And if you don't, we are going to play Metal Gear Solid when I get live streaming. Because that is an amazing story and you should watch it. I mean, you and you alone. Just me? What is it? Yeah. My true intentions. Oh, mother of God, she's got super serious and... That's the thing about girls, they can be so upfront about their intentions. And guys typically aren't like that. I mean, there are some guys that are very forward and, you know, like, get to the point and don't mess around. But girls find it a lot easier than guys. Guys are kind of pussies when it comes to emotions. At least me. Maybe I'm just a pussy. Wait, what emotions? Okay, that got off quid very quickly. Huh? To be honest... I'm kind of fed up with all this. We're all ultimates, right? So we get carried away and rush face first into stuff. Even I have to wonder if it's okay to live like that. Are you thinking of quitting modeling or something? Oh yeah, she just remembered she's supposed to be a model. Dreams are meant to change as you grow up, right? She was not this freaking mature in the anime. Guys, why is Danganronpa 3 to spare arc so shit to Mokoro? Seriously. Depending on where you're at, kindergarten, elementary school, junior high, high school. What can we do? But I've had the same dream since I was a little kid, and I've been rushing toward it ever since. Oh, she looks nervous. So I've never really had to think at all hard about my dreams. But what's wrong with that? It just means you still feel the same way about it, right? Yeah. That's what I used to think. But if it doesn't change, your possibilities can't grow, right? That's how new opportunities are born. Hmm. And up until now, I never did that. I never let my dreams grow. All I saw was that one dream. I put everything I had into that one narrow little world. I feel like there's so much more I could be doing that I'm not. And I don't like that feeling. And I just hit 25. I am no longer in my early 20s. I am officially in my mid-20s. And she's giving me this. Thanks, Mukuro. You're contributing to my quarter-life crisis. Maybe I should go to the store and buy a box of ice cream or something and pig out. No way, that's what you do when you get broken up with. Hmm, maybe I should spend more time at the gym. Nah, I already do that. What should I do? I don't know. Maybe I should do something crazy. Like, buy a pink t-shirt or something. So, I think I'm going to start looking for it. Is it childish of me to think like that? Am I just being just a baby? No, not at all. I'm the same way, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. And sometimes I feel like I'll never find out. I feel like maybe I'll spend the rest of my life looking for it. But I'm not sure it's even about finding it or not. Maybe the important thing is that you're looking for it. <clears throat> Makoto, you... See, he's got it right. It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And Mukuro is gobsmacked that he's got a point. You actually sounded kind of cool just now. And there's Nagi, the ultimate fucking chick magnet. No, that's not what I was trying to. Yeah. But you could be right. Totally. Getting lost can be a good thing. As long as you're looking for it, maybe that's enough to be happy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna remember what you said. Thanks, Makoto. Sure. <laughs> In return, I promise that if I do decide to kill someone, it won't be you. <laughs> oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, you're a babe. Don't say scary stuff like that. <laughs> Nagi doesn't realize that she could fucking murder everyone. She can murder everyone! Oh my god. Note to self. If stuck in killing game, make friends with the girl that looks the least likely to kill someone. I'm glad I was able to talk to Junka like this. I think I understand her a lot better now. You know nothing! I feel like maybe we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. I love how Makoto is just like, we're friends. And then he ends up getting a girlfriend anyway. Fuck my life. Seriously? But before I can do what you said, I gotta get out of here first. So I'm definitely gonna find out how to get out. Maybe if she stopped yelling at nobody about how to get out, she'd find a way. Well, I guess it's okay. She can do things however she wants. Juko's report card has been updated. You just unlocked the skill Charisma. She's charismatic. 
Holy crap. My god, Junko. After such a nice conversation with Junko, I went back to my room. Alone. Without Junko. Because I said she's my friend. God damn it, Nike. God damn it. Um, this is a school announcement. Ah, oh, Principal Monokuma, how I missed you. And I love how he doesn't okay, sit. Why does he not? Oh, so he does the first line and the last line, but he doesn't do the middle line voice. Why? Yes, Today's daily wake off. Okay, dismissed. I hope I didn't leave a mess. What would I like to do? Meet with someone. Let's go meet with Mukuro. Let's just double check which meeting with Mukuro this is. Let's see. We don't want to accidentally screw it up. What? Did we do all of them? Oh shit! Wait, I thought there were five events, not four. Maybe the fifth one's like the final one, like with Kirigiri, where she's like, I will only show a family member what's under these gloves. In a subtle way, she's saying, I'm not taking my clothes off for you. We know it to be true! She ain't no slut. Not that I'm saying a girl that takes her clothes off for a guy is a slut. Because if that's how we thought the human race would be fucking dead in no time. Get over it, guys. But if she's like with four or five guys at the same time and she doesn't know any of them, I'm beginning to question her morality. Same with guys. Though the odds of a guy getting four or five girls at the same time and the odds of a girl getting four or five guys at the same time are very different because some guys are really, really tasteless. They'll like do anything to get laid. It's really embarrassing. I, I feel embarrassed on behalf of... Of my gender group. God damn it, guys. God damn it. Gotta lift your standards, guys. Gotta, gotta lift that shit. Gotta lift that shit. What would you like to do? I would like to spend time with her. Take her out to a nice brunch. That sounded so gay right now. I don't mind hanging out, but you better keep me entertained. Okay, this, this is getting weird. She's just doing that whole thing, and then she's like super happy. Jesus Christ, Makoto, what have you done? I would definitely like to give her a present. What would you like to give her? I'll give her a bottle of mineral water. For real? She, she, even if I gave her like Tic Tac, she'll be happy. Even if I gave her like, uh, I don't know, I gave her like a sweatband, she'd be like, I love this. <laughs> Let me give you a little peck of, right, just, just make out with him already. I get it. You like him. Just, just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. What the fuck was that? What? Nothing happened. Oh, okay. Maybe I have to spend this trip ticket with her. That, that, that was so weird. That was pretty weird. Wasted a bottle of goddamn mineral water on you. Ah, oh, it's okay. It's not wasted. Okay, where, 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 uh, l l l let's just get her some food. I'm, it, it's, it's like, where can I take her? Food's always good. Let's see if there's any donuts. Any donuts? But breakfast Japanese style is best. When I'm starving, it's burger time. Do you want something to drink? Um, uh, 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 let, let's go with a statement. Seriously? Yeah, the calorie intake is terrifying, but I just can't stop myself. Yeah, she does count her calories. <laughs> ah, yeah, you would. Oh my God, would get along? Maybe. Yeah, she's more into like passive guys, though. Am I passive? Am I submissive? I could be. I can be whatever you want me to be. 20 bucks is 20 bucks after all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm making a reference to a post I did on Twitter because uh, a lot of my videos got demonetized because they were saying it's adult themed and too sexualized. And then they placed an ad on a Nyko B video I was watching for a cam girl site. And I'm like, so one of my videos cannot be monetized because it's too sexual yet there is a stripper cam girl advertisement on a non-sexual video. The hypocrisy. But 20 bucks is 20 bucks. That's what I said and I tweeted it to freaking YouTube. No wonder they monetize me. Bastards. Man, now I really want a hamburger. I would so take you out. There's a really good hamburger place near where I live. It's like a 10 minute walk and it's amazing. It's one of the best places in Sydney, but very few people know about it. Because it's not like a fancy dining place. It's very casual. The seats are like, you know, it's just a really casual place. But the burgers are freaking amazing. It actually takes a lot of muscle to be a model. Look at me. I have to keep my body nice and fit, see? I know, right? 
high rep, low weight, toning, and... Ugh, I'd feed you. <laughs> hey Makoto, your face is all red. What could you possibly be thinking about? Your ass. Mostly. I think we both had a pretty good time. She's freaking adorable. She is freaking adorable. Yeah. Hmm. Hanging out with you isn't so bad. I thought it'd be way more boring. <laughs> You're gonna have even four. We're gonna have even more fun next time, right? Ah! She's already insinuating next time. Nice work, my boy. <gasps> kidding, kidding. Did I just set the hurdle too high? Ah! <laughs> she's doubting herself. Love Sorry. it. Don't worry. I don't have any expectations. Feel free to come say hi again anytime. Okay, you want to head back? She's so sweet. Oh my god, look at her. You just make me blush. Jesus Christ. Um, this She's so genuine. Okay. She's like, I, I, I love that. There's not many mind games. I like that. I respect that. I admire that. I like that. <laughs> and Hina's jealous. Of course she's jealous. She wants donuts. I feel like I could jump into the ocean and swim around the entire coast of Japan. And then get eaten by sharks. Hina seems to be feeling pretty good today. I guess we might have to... Oh, god damn it, one. Oh, okay, I can update clear... I, I can update leading again. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's do that. Congratulations, Sayaka. Congratulations, Celeste. No, wait. Congratulations, you. Yay. I hope no one dies. There's a few people on yellow. And a lot of people are energetic, but I hope no one dies. And I sent them all to go find. I'm not going to do any building. I'm just going to gather materials for all the things. So when we do decide to do it, we should hopefully have enough. Some more light bulbs. Holy crap. How many light bulbs are we stealing? There's going to be no lights left. We're so... Syringes 10. Oh my god. That is, that is frightening. That is frightening. What would you like to do? Go meet with someone, obviously. Who should I talk to? Who do you think? Who do you... Who do you think? Oh my god, you, you, you're just... Oh. Don't look at me like that, guys. Look at us a sweet girl. I, 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 told, I, I don't know why I have a soft spot for her. Ever since I found out she was a soldier, I had like the biggest soft spot on her. She reminds me of that Russian diplomat girl. Whoops, accidentally took her here. Okay, now it's just you and me. She reminds me of that Russian um, diplomat girl that was like so pretty that the Japanese started making anime of her. She's like, she's like, she stole... When they invaded Ukraine, she said like they stole the heart of Ukraine or something. She's so cute. She's blonde. Like blondes are usually not my thing because I, growing up, I've been surrounded by blondes. So whenever I see a blonde girl, I in a weird way get reminded of one of my cousins because they're all blonde and tall. So it's like, you look like my, my cousin. That's really freaky. You know, sort of thing. So that's why I'm kind of more into brunettes. Mostly because my dad was probably more into brunettes too and I got some of his genetics. Yeah. Weird that I think about that. Let's chill for a while. I spent some time with you. Wait, I didn't use a spring. Oh shit. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. Yeah, I, I got a little sidetracked, so I had to load back and go back in time. I'm uh, I'm a little bit of an idiot. When I when I start talking, I totally get lost. So yeah. I, I know a few people commented that they really hate that I start talking about nonsense in between free time events, but what am I supposed to do? Just read this thing? I mean, let's have a conversation here, guys. Do you want a drink? For breakfast, I'm starving burger time. I can't say there's something. What do you- You want something to drink? Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm okay. Just a bottle of water is fine for me. She looks so insulted. Maybe she's upset I keep giving her bottles of water. But if I gave her a diet coke, she'd get pissed off because it's got artificial colors, flavors, and ruins your liver. <gasps> or maybe a cappuccino. That latte art people do is seriously cute, right? Holy fuck. Every time I go for a coffee, a coffee I always ask for a cappuccino. Because ever since I was a kid, I always loved eating the top of the cappuccino, but my parents never ordered it. So whenever someone else ordered it and they gave it to me, I was like the happiest kid alive. God damn it, Mukero, don't do this to me. I get the feeling she didn't have much fun. Naigi, you stupid little chit! Oh, man, that was like super bo- You break my heart, Mukero. I need to do something fun for now. Oh, this day's gonna be a total. Anyway, I'm out of here. Um, this is a Go fuck yourself, Monokuma. I just struck out with 
Mukhtar. God forbid you ask a girl if she wants to drink. God forbid, right? It's like, can't do that shit. Can't be asking if you want to drink. You better give her a statement. Ask her ask her if she wants to drink or something to eat. You're fucked. You, you, you better know the answer, Nike. You better know the answer. You better read her mind. And God, do you have a lot of fans? Is there some kind of trick to make up? Let's make lunch and go somewhere. That seems the most fun. But I want to see what she says to this. Um, well, I mean... Why are you even asking me? Are you trying to say I wear too much makeup? Crap. I don't think things went well. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Sorry, what a waste of time. You don't need to bother me. Oh my... Shut through the heart. It's already too late. Oh, look at you just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Here we are at the dining hall once again. For breakfast, Japanese style is best. You want something to drink? It's burger time. Let's go for the Japanese style is best. What? Don't be so picky. If it's edible, who cares where it's from? Just a hot meal by itself is a luxury. I totally agree with you, Mukara. I respect that so much you have no idea. That's why I always try to clear up all the food on my plate, even if I hate it. I try eating it first. And then I hate it when I've finished eating the food that I hate and they put more of it. I'm like... <sighs> hot meal is a luxury? Does she see it like that because of when she ran away from home? Crap, I don't think things went well. Well, stop being so picky, Naegi. Speaking of girls and stuff like that, well, guys as well. Remember how Mukuro um, said to Naegi that because he's super passive, he needs a super assertive girl? Or something like that. Do you guys think that is true? Do you think the whole opposites thing works like a balance? I'm starting to think it's because some really, really aggressive and forward coming people can never really find a partner because you know they're a little too pushy and it takes someone that's a little bit more passive and submissive in order to you know go along with them it could be a balance thing or it could be just like one of those practical things because could you imagine two really passive people in a relationship nothing will get done oh we should change the light bulb yeah maybe i don't know it's up to you what do you think oh i don't know yeah i don't know either maybe we should just wait yeah maybe we should wait and the light bulb turns off oh should we change that yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure. No, it's okay. There's another two light bulbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, I guess you're right. Fuck my life. Okay, let, 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 let's see. Uh, let's see if burger time works. Seriously? Yeah, that calorie... What? I just picked the same thing as last time and she had a good time. Yeah. My god. Hm, hanging out with you isn't so bad. I thought it'd be way more boring. <laughs> We're gonna have even more fun next time, right? Oh, she's Sorry. doing the same thing. So I honestly just did the same thing as last time and it worked. You're killing me here, Mukuro. You're killing me. It, seem, it, it seems that burgers with Mukuro seems to be a thing. Burgers with Mukuro is a thing. It's awesome. Oh no! I know what I ha have to do. I'm, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. No. No! Bad toko. Very bad toko. Very bad Toko. And I and I hate the fact that she like cleans on her freaking knees. It's killing me. Oh, Saika's eight. Toko's six. Now you are also an eight. The guys get what I'm talking about, right? Wait, Toko's an eight? Oh. Well, you guys are dead. 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 Dead, 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 and dead. What the fuck is this? A gulag? I'm working everyone to death. What? You guys still don't have enough syringes? You're kidding me, right? You're kidding me, right? Whatever, you guys get to work. You know in the Russian gulags, people will work to death? The temperatures could, could go to minus 60 degrees. And people will literally work to death there. Stalin didn't care because he just had more and more prisoners to put in there. Come on, Hina and Kirigiri. Fight for my love. No one died! Great success. Lucky thing is we don't have to spend any presents now that we're just spending trip tickets. We just keep taking her to the dining hall and keep telling her to get a burger. Insinuating that she's too skinny. I keep saying that. You're too skinny, I'll take you for a burger. 
And yeah. Let's see. Let, let's see if this was. Let's make lunch and go somewhere to eat. For real? Oh, that sounds awesome. I'm totally looking forward to homemade lunch. You are so down to earth, Mukara. I swear to God. Like, honestly, you, 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 you guys are probably going to like throw an apple at me or something. But if I was stuck in um, that high school, Hope's Peak, I think I'd be more sort of leaning towards Mukara. Because she's just so down to earth. Like, it, it, it's just like a cherry on the pie. Cherry on the cake. Right? I mean, you are going to make it for me, right? Of course. I don't really love or hate anything, so you can just pack whatever you feel like. This right here. This right here is the reason why she's so freaking awesome. Have you ever been on, like, going out with someone or a date or something, and you really try to make something nice and you put effort, and they're just like, huh, huh, I don't like this. I don't do that. I don't eat this. I don't do that. I only like this. Da, da, da. I'm just like, oh, fuck you. The f oh, my God. You know what I mean? This right here. Hmm. Oh, but I guess I can help a little bit if you promise to eat what I make. That is so sweet. It looks to me like she had a really good time. That is so sweet. Oh my god. You're killing me here. Man, I can't imagine any way today could have been more fun than it was. Uh, it's been a long time since I felt this relaxed. And it's all thanks to you, Makoto. You're doing pretty good so far. <laughs> oh, my boy. You know, if you think about it, us hanging out alone, just the two of us, it's kind of like a date, right? So let's keep so that feeling going and go back holding hands. Makoto with his I'm a friend strategy is winning all the sweet girls. Um, kind of like I did. Where I was kind of going out for two weeks before I officially asked my girlfriend out on a date. The Kuma strategy. Shit works. <laughs> and there were like six guys that really wanted to ask her out. <laughs> and they asked her out and she always said no because she was too busy going with me and she didn't even know I was planning to ask her out on a date. Ah, uh, Kuma, you sneaky bastard. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. You guys know what I did. The first time I met her and she was taking, telling me like all this stuff she likes and stuff, I wrote it down, right? And I turned that into like a playbook of I know exactly what she likes. I know exactly where she hasn't been. I know, like, I knew all this shit, and so I planned every single time we went out to just hit the bullseye. You sneaky little bastard, you. You devil, you. Uh, kind of like one of these guides, like school mode guides and gift guides, when you just know how to hit the ace every time. It was kind of like that. Before I ever played Danganronpa. If I played Danganronpa, I would have got that idea. But I got it on my own. Because I'm a gamer. I strategize, alright? Everything's a game. You're grinding reputation. I'm becoming a very good manager. When I go for a next job interview and they ask me, are you good at managing people? I'm going to say, yeah, I play Danganronpa school mode without anyone collapsing for a week. And they're going to be like, congrats, you're hired. Alright, get to work, you lazy bastards. Monster Ranger, do it! Do it now! How many light bulbs do you fucking want? If someone collapses, I'm gonna slap people. Alright, let's see how we're going on the Mukura meter. Mr. Monokuma, you jealous yet? Maybe that's why Junko killed Mukura. Oh, she well. looks so happy. We're, we're gonna have to spend more time with Sakura too, but it's not gonna be a date. Alright, change of pace. Let's spend some time with Senpai. Come on, senpai. She likes going to the school store. She's got the heart of a woman. Well, I don't know if she's a woman yet. She's she's in like high school. Let's dig for some treasure. <laughs> we would be good friends, Sakura-chan. We would be good friends. She's so freaking sweet. God damn it! Why, why, why are the people in this game so awesome? How I, I, I feel fucking horrible that she's dead. She didn't deserve that. 
Okay. She did not des- I, it is- uh. We are terrible people. It's important for us to cherish each day and create a string of valuable memories. Sakura seems to be feeling pretty good. We are fucking terrible people. Okay, we finally got enough syringes. Now we need more tree branches. Fucking everyone, follow Professor Hagakure. He will help you. Ah, oh, but Kirigiri and Hina need to sleep. How cute. What? Okay, start working your beaver butts off, guys. Work, 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 Mexican work. I got that from South Park, I'm not racist. What would you like to do? Go meet with someone, obviously. A oh, senpai, let's go to the store. She's so freaking determined. If I had a if I had a look like that, Jesus, everyone would get freaking fudge out. I, I I think I'm gonna do chest and arms today. I did my legs and stomach yesterday, and I'm gonna do chest, arm, stomach today. I'm gonna do that. All right, what should we do? All kind of amazing paintings here. Let's organize things here a little. There's not much here to help train. Let's organize! Of course. It's pretty awful, isn't it? It looks like someone came through and ravaged the place. A messy room leads to a messy mind, as they say. My room is not this clean. I I'm gonna give you guys an insight. Look at this shit. <laughs> it's a mess. <sighs> I gave you guys a secret behind the scenes look. Because you guys are awesome. As cliche as that sounds, few people actually grasp the truth of it. And I have two whiteboards now on the side here. I used to have one for notes, now I have two. One's entirely for notes in regards uh, to YouTube, and the other one's like a to-do list. And it's so much shit to do. <laughs> You're very dedicated, aren't you? It looks to me like she had a really good time. Yeah, yeah, I gotta start doing that to-do list. Tomorrow's Monday, which means I'm gonna put all my effort this week to get this whole to-do list cleared up. That way I have a clean so whiteboard. Good. It forces me to work because in order to write more points, I have to do the previous ones. And it's very visual, so it's very good. Um, okay. So it, it really does help me. Senpai, let's go clean the store once again. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to do it for more trip tickets. Now I remember. But luckily we get more trip tickets than days it takes to get them, so that's pretty cool. So we can spend time to finish all the free times before we need to do Hi, oh, someone who can merchandise. I really want this armor. Well, you can cover yourself. Ah, crap! This is the one where she gets upset. It's where she says like you can put makeup on a pack mule, but it doesn't make it a lady. The characters in this game are fucking brutally honest. This is a waste of my time. How to be a dick and alienate people. Uh, okay. I really gotta read that book, How to Make Friends and Influence People. It's supposedly really good. Well, we failed. Did we go back in time? This is unacceptable. You better start taking this seriously. I know you can do better than this. Anyone could. So the next concept is... Heavy Arms Monokuma. I'm going to give it everything I've got today so we can all get out of here together. Yeah, by murdering everyone, you little psycho. Psycho seems to be feeling really good. My god, if I start spending time with Sayaka, and I start... Yeah, day 34, we did not go back in time. We did not go back in time! No! I'm so bad, I just go back in time every single time I fail. I'll see if I can craft a few items, and then, when the day is finished, I hope I don't lose them. Because I knew I had so many freaking screws, but they seem to have disappeared. So I don't know if I lose items when we fail a task. We might, though. So I might make a few items to try to upgrade people's gathering skills. Let's dig for some treasure. <laughs> you're so awesome, Sakura-chan. You're, you're just amazing. <laughs> well, I guess if I train every single day as vigorously as she does, I could one day possess arms like that. Though, I don't know if arms that big would be considered attractive. Okay, I mean, I know big arms are, like, cool, but I don't know if, like, massive vein popping, I can lift a truck, is considered attractive. I don't know. I don't know. I do not know. Look at those screws, Jesus. Ah, oh. and no one's collapsed. No one's collapsed. It's pretty cool. Senpai, more time, please. I don't want you to get jealous. Senpai, more trip ticket. 
That did not sound Japanese. That sounded freaking racist because I'm trying to be stereotypical, but that's what South Park always does. Well, I can be racist as long as I don't discriminate. What am I think? Oh no! We are going to go into Sakura-chan's mind! Huh? That voice, could it be? Are these Sakura's inner thoughts? Oh my god! Oh my god, triple happy heart! Ah! What's she saying? Makoto! At first, I deemed him an unworthy training partner. Oh. But now I... I want to believe in him! See, she's got massive boob. Okay, stop. Bad Kuma! No matter what I tell him. He accepts me for it! I do! I got it. We are the best of friends. We are the best of friends forever. If there's anything you want to talk to me about, you can tell me, no matter what it is. Mm. Mm, what do you mean? I may not always be able to understand the burden you're carrying, but I can still listen to you. Whatever it is, giving up without doing anything doesn't help anyone. I'm sorry. Makoto, I suppose I caught you unaware. I'm sorry for all of this. No, you don't have to apologize. However. Please, I feel like I have to, or I won't get past it. But you know, you're so mysterious. For some reason, I have no doubt that you mean what you say. <laughs> Someday I'll open up to you. I know that's selfish of me to say, but please, just wait. It looks to me like she had a really good time. I guess if you're just there with four people, eventually they'll open up to you. Because everyone needs someone. I'm trying to think of a person who didn't need someone. Maybe Albert Wesker. Thank you for everything today, to Makoto. The time we spent together now, it's a lot. I think maybe... Anyway, we should get going. That was the first time we had that event with Sakura-chan. I think that was like the fifth time or something. Let's double check. I think that was the fifth time. I think that might have triggered on the fifth time. Holiday? Day off, maybe? Yay! Well, we kept the place clean, so we're good. Let's see if that was the fifth time. I think it was the fifth time. Was it the fifth time, Mr. Monokuma? Tell me! Tell me right now! No. Tell me right now! You tell me everything! That was the si Yeah, that was the fifth meeting turned into the sixth. And Byaku is standing victorious on top of everyone. That is so horrible. Well. We're gonna put him back in his place. Let's send Byaku a cleaning. <laughs> yes, we will send him to clean. We are going to send Byakuya to clean. Uh-oh, I sent her to the dining hall. Okay, gonna be good. We better not lose hearts. Here we are at the dining hall. Uh, what do we do? No? I'd like to train with you. Oh, you're welcome to join me, of course. I'll train alongside Hina. If there's something you'd like to focus on, just let me know. I'll design a regiment. I hope this went well. It better went well. Just smiling. Thank you for everything today, Makoto. The time we spent together really means a lot to me. I'd like to talk with you more. I think maybe... Anyway, we should get going. Whew! Let's go meet with someone today. No, we're really gonna send Byaki a cleaning. Let's see how he likes it! That little son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm in charge now, bitches! I delegate the work now, and you're not getting paid! Oh, wait, what happens if uh, Byakuya, like, faints? Let's see what happens. <laughs> Let's work him to death. <laughs> ah. Of course. Ah, oh, I am an evil, evil Kuma. Oh my god, I found, I posted on my Instagram, I found a Kuma paw in Perhaps. Japan that I really wanted to buy, but unfortunately it was still open, and it was a bit so dirty. Bad. But I did find it online where to buy it, I'm going to have to update the description where to buy it. So don't worry, I'm going to go back and update all my descriptions to put the links to the Monokuma. I'm getting one soon. And the uh, description, I'm also going to put that Kuma okay, paw when then. I get it where I got it. So anything you guys see me buy as like a prop, or for fun, I'm going to put in the description where I bought it. And if anyone does buy it using that link, it's of course going to like, it gives like a small percentage of the sale price to my affiliate. It's not like charging you extra to buy it, it just means a percentage of the sale goes to me instead of Amazon. 
which is really cool because then I can spend it on video games. And then we can play them for the channel, which is really cool. Okay, Bjarke, you little son of a bitch. I'm sending you to clean. Yes, you're cleaning. <laughs> I am an evil person. Okay, clean, Bjarke. Yeah, how you like that? Why are you smiling? Huh? Fine, I'll make you clean faster. Yeah, you're like on drugs. I am an evil person. I don't think he gives a shit, he just does it. He's such a good boy. Let's use a trip ticket. Uh oh, accidentally sent him to the dining hall. So we've only got two more trip tickets after this, so we're actually gonna have to do one of these Monokuma things. Otherwise, we don't have any trip tickets. Son of a bitch, Monokuma, son of a bitch. What would you like to do? I'd like to train with you. So then. <laughs> Thank you for everything today, Makoto. The time we spent together really means a lot to me. Perhaps. If you don't mind, we could do it again sometime. I'd like to talk with you more. I think maybe... So anyway, we should get going. I think maybe we could be the best of friends, Sakura. And you can get rid of Hina. You don't need her anymore. She likes donuts more than you anyway. Oh god, I feel bad for Hina. She lost her best friend. Oh. No wonder she's like clinging to Makoto. She's he's all she has, and Kirigiri is competition. Ah, <laughs> oh, jump with the devil! I feel like I can jump in the ocean and swim around the entire coast of Japan. Hina seems to be feeling really good. It's pretty cute. Ah, oh, lunch bill. Why don't you give me an upgrade, you little lazy bastard? What? I have two dedicated cleaners, and cleaning it's gone dirty to like halfway. It's ridiculous. You guys better clean better. Yeah, that's right, clean. Maybe it's because of the day off. The day off must have screwed it up. Yeah, I think even when you have a day off and you do, do two events, it kind of messes it up a little bit. But it's okay. Now then. How's everyone doing? I think Sakura Chun should be on eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, she's on nine! So this is going to be the final thing we do with Sakura Chun. Yeah, so we're going to have to complete the next Monokuma task in order to get more trick tickets. That's okay. I really wanted to play before I went to the gym because after I finish recording, I have to put the recording uh, through Handbrake, which helps the audio and visual synchronize because when I record with a webcam, it's not on a constant FPS, it's on a variable. So sometimes it's 30 FPS, sometimes it's like 35. And so when I put it into my uh, editing software, it's out of sync. So I have to sync it using a program in order to make it easier to edit. Otherwise, every 10 seconds, I gotta resync it. So that's why sometimes you'll hear me talk and my mouth is not flapping the same and it looks like an anime, which is funny. <gasps> What's going on? Oh my god. Could it be Sakura-chan? <gasps> Our final trigger happy heart. I can't wait till we finish the 50 days and then we can see everyone's uh, thingy. Makoto, I deem him an unworthy training partner, but now I... I want to believe in him. No matter what I tell him, he accepts me for it! Of course I do, Sakura-chan. We're friends. Plus, you're my senpai. I have to accept you. Otherwise, you beat me. You will beat me vigorously. If there's anything you want to talk about, you can tell me, no matter what it is. What do you mean? I may not always be able to understand the burden you're carrying, but I can still listen to you. Whatever it is, giving up without doing anything doesn't help anyone. Makoto, I suppose I caught you unaware. I'm sorry for all of this. No, you don't have to apologize. However. Please, I feel like I have to or won't get past it. You know, your service tears. For some reason, I have no doubt you mean what you say. Someday, I'll open up to you. I know that's selfish of me to say, but please, just wait. It looks to me like she had a really good time. And she's on 10 hearts. And she's won my heart. Sakura-chan, you are amazing in ways I cannot describe. Yeah, like, the recording for my webcam is 52 minutes, 45 seconds, and the recording for my game is 52 minutes. So there's 45 seconds of variable FPS in there. Okay then. I know, it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. There's just extra FPS in the video file for no reason. <laughs> it's important that we do our best no matter what the goal is. I know you guys want me to spend time with her. That's what all you guys want. And you girls. You ship her and Makoto more than anyone. I fucking know it. I don't even know what shipping means. I'm so embarrassed. What? You still don't have all the materials I need? You guys kidding me, right? Get your asses back to work! Work, 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 work! Our final trip ticket! Yeah, we better complete that task. You know how you do it with everyone? Okay, let's take a peek. Yeah! 
Wait, Mukuro's on two. I thought she was supposed to be on three. And sakura looks like she's just won the lotto. I don't know, I, I get this odd suspicion that I'm losing hearts. Or maybe I, I'm just shitty at keeping track. Mokero, the yum yum of my life. I cannot say that, I would get murdered. <laughs> I don't know why I said yum yum. Oh, I like yummy buns like Drymon. Yummy bun. Oh, the, the weird shit that I say sometimes. The weird shit that I say sometimes. Here we are at the dining hall. Let's make her a sandwich. Seriously? Yeah, the calorie intake is terrifying. So it seems with Mukuro, as long as it's food related, you're good. If you ask her what she wants, she'll kick your ass. If you just give her something, she's gonna love it. Kidding, kidding. Did I set the hurdle too high? Sorry. Don't worry, I don't have any expectations. Feel free to come say sometime. So we went out with her five times, and then five times ten, and after ten, she's done to see it as a date. Um, Wait! Now that I think about it, if a girl is fucking single and you're spending time with her and she likes you, she's gonna want it to be a date. But if she spends time with you and she doesn't like you, she's gonna want you to be a friend. So there is no friend zone. It's just that you fail to attract her. Huh. Friend zone. Pfft. Fuck that shit. If you like a girl, never agree to be a friend. It's like, you either want me, or you can't have me. Up to you! <laughs> okay then. Why? We got feelings too, you know. <laughs> it's important for us to cherish each day and create a string of valuable memories. Sakura seems to be feeling really good. Well, we really need that trip ticket. We don't have any more goddamn trip tickets. It's killing me. Or maybe we should just focus on completing the free time events. Because that meter is going to get set to zero again. I don't know. What? You need more metal- Wait. If you guys can remove the goddamn metal plates, what are you guys still doing in here? You're killing me here, guys. Fuck my life right now. If you guys can remove the metal plates, how are you still stuck in here? Someone explain this shit to me, please. What would you like to do? Go meet with someone. Well, we have to meet with someone, and we have no trip tickets. So, let's, let's, let, let's, no. wait, did we say we, we were going to have to spend time with Aoi? Yeah, see, she's going to three. I know I finished Celeste, but I need trip. Two and a half? Two and a half? What's this bullshit? You either like me or you don't. What the fuck? What's this bullshit? Two and a half. Look at that shit. What the fuck? I feel insulted. What the fuck, Mokura? I thought you were cool. Jesus. Two and a half. Two and a half. Two and a half. Fuck it. Oh, it is. What would you like to do with Hina? Spend time together. I don't know what part of the free time events I'm up to with her, but I'm I'm somewhere. I'm somewhere. Yeah. You want to go for a run to relieve some of this stress? Sure. You know, I went for a little run around the school. You know, I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hino a present? Sure. Do we have any donuts? Yes, we do! What? I can keep this? Right, right? Yay! Ultra stoked. See, Hino so pleased with something you gave him makes me happy. Uh-oh! This sucks. Huh? What happened to her? She seems way more depressed than usual. Way more depressed than usual. Nike thinks of Hina as being depressed. That's miserable. Hey Hina, what's wrong? Um... Oh well, I tried to convince myself I was imagining it, but I totally wasn't imagining it. Imagining what? I'm sick of this. I I got fat. <laughs> Wait, doesn't she go to the balcony naked every more? You know what the best cardio is? Moing, moing, moing like a wabbit. She'd totally be down. She's like the most liberated girl here. Would that be taking advantage of her or would that be something she enjoys? Yeah, let's not go there. I figured. You noticed, you little cheeky bastard? I'm so fat. Fat from every angle. 
I hate this. I hate it. I may as well just accept it and embrace my new big fatty attitude. But what if I just keep getting fatter and fatter and it never stops? I'm sick of this. I just get disgust disgustingly more bleed. Blech. I just get disgustingly more biddly obese and then nobody wants to marry me. She's already thinking about marriage. Fuck my life right now. Which makes me depressed and I get even fatter. Eventually I can't even stand up on my own. You got you, girls probably haven't seen it, but there's like a photo of when a woman and a man are married and the man is kissing her and she's wearing a wedding dress and then there's like a thought bubble that says now I can get fat. Ah. Uh. And then I die, sad and alone. Nobody notices. I finally lose weight when my body starts to rot. I think maybe you're worrying a little too much. Besides, as far as I can tell, you look exactly the same. What the heck? You're just saying that. I'm a turtle chub monster. I'm a perfect circle. You know what else is a perfect circle? A donut. You're a donut. No, seriously. I'm not just saying that. Then, I'm still hot? Oh, she's totally baiting for a compliment. Say, yeah, you totally hot girl. Well, I mean, uh, yeah. Really? Then I might still make it out alive. You think just because you're good looking, no one's going to kill you? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure you'll make it out alive. <laughs> thank God. Seriously, thank God. Okay. But I can't relax now. I'm making an official statement. As of right now, Aoi oh, Asahina is on a diet. A diet? You got it. Just you watch. I'm going to get so thin, I'll scare the crap out of you. Well, don't overdo it, okay? okay? Don't try and stop me. I've made up my mind, and my willpower is rock hard. I was this close to say something, but I'm not going to say it. Not going to say it. And now my resolve is even more rock hard. Not going to say it. You got it. But before all that, time to get stuffed on donuts. And there you go. That's why she got fat. Almost before she was done talking, Hina took off like a bat out of hell. I'm not sure if dieting is really Hina's skill set. Her diet is going to consist of donuts. Just plain donuts. That's her idea of a diet. No more sprinkles. Just plain. How, how, many, how, many, how many things have we done with Hina? Not like how many things we've done with Hina. I mean, how many free time events have we done with Hina? We have to check on the... Um, Little thing. Day 40. There's only 52 days. Why is it 52? Wait, that's a whole freaking year! Oh, no fucking shit. They spent a year inside Hope's Peak before the killing game started, before they lost their memory. So that's why it's a year. I feel retarded. Oh, but the only thing that carries over are, like, the cleaning. Right! I just realized now, like an idiot. Shut up. So they were saying focus on like the free time. I get it. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, we finished the free time events with Hina. Now it's the trip tickets, right? Six, right? She's got a star. No, wait, she doesn't have a star. Why doesn't she have a star? She must have one more event. She's 50 kilograms, 160 centimeters. 50 kilograms at 160 centimeters is like pretty thin, especially with her boobs. Because boobs are fat, they have a lot of weight. Kirigiri is 167 at 48, so she's pretty petite. 65 centimeters, 49. Holy shit, that's pretty. Wait! 49? Wait, what? 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 48. Ah, she's skinnier than you, bitch! We don't have enough metal plates, and they're all exhausted. No. Th th this is where the items that carry over aren't gonna help. Restore all HP to our best finder. Where's Kirigi? Oh, she doesn't need to restore all. Leon, I, oh no, I have to do it. Otherwise I'm dead. Hyper energy for the next task. You better. And you too. Good. Good, 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 good. Lunch milk, a bit. Okay, so we need to figure out all the people that are good. So all the fives. Fives, 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 fives. I'm strategic like that. And then a four. Good shit, good shit. Because we have to find everything we need. Otherwise, we're fucked. Heavy armor monochroma. Because we need to do that shit. So, we need a microscope, right? Wait, what, what do we need? 
Yeah. So we need 20 microchips. Why do we need a microscope? What the fuck? Yeah, we're screwed because we don't have enough integrated circuits. Iron plates. Oh, he needs five iron plates. 30 gas burners, 30 welders. 30? We're fucked. There's no way we can do this in a day. It's a lot of items, but it's not getting completed. I mean, seriously? Ah, oh, fuck you, you little quitter. No wonder you're never going to become a rock star. You just quit. That's all you do. You're a disappointment. Okay, this should be the final Aoi free time event. A final! Spend time together. The final free time event. Okay, you want to go for a walk? I don't care where to. Although, no matter where we go, we're still stuck in this stupid school. Yeah, they're stuck here for a year. So this is the year they spent before the killing game. Oh yeah, and Mukiro never lost a memory. Fuck yeah. Oh, I feel, feel so bad for her. Every connection she made in that year, she lost. Wait! Wait! So you mean during this entire year, Junko was still Monokuma? I wonder if Junko have been part of the school during this year. So there'd be a Mukuro and a Junko in the- Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Let's not. Let's just get over it. He and I grew a little closer today. Oh, by the way, if you want to discuss anything, just put a timestamp of when I said something and then put a comment to discuss it. So then anyone can go and watch that timestamp and then read your discussion. That way we can have a good discussion. That's how it works. Yes, definitely. What can I give her? Well, I don't have a donut, but I can give her a kitty. Yes! What? I can keep this, right? Yay, ultra stoked. Seeing Hina so please makes me happy. Hey, Makoto, can I talk to you for a sec? What's up? I wanted to ask you something. Sure, what is it? Uh, um, I mean... Can you just come to my room when you get a chance? Right here is like... Huh? Okay, see you later. Better not stand me up. Without bothering to wait for a response, Hina ran off. What's going on with her? Inviting me to a room like this? She's acting really strange. Well, I don't have much choice, do I? No, you don't. Get in there. Get in there, Nagi. I headed to Hina's room like she asked. Oh, shit. So much training equipment. Um... Sorry for making you ha have to come here. Oh, I don't mind. What's going on? Um... I just wanted to ask you something. Will you promise to give me a real answer? She likes him! Sure. Well... What do you think about me? I put so much coffee in... I can see a discussion coming. I'll be right back. Okay, we gotta think about this for a second because we all saw how much she was hitting on Naegi in Danganronpa 3 Future Arc when we thought Kirigir was dead. So, we also saw how jealous she was when she called Naegi a sex-crazed maniac trying to hit on Sakura-chan because Kirigir was mad at him. So, you know what I mean? So I'm curious to see what happens and I'm curious to see what Naegi says. Let's see what my boy says! Because you have to keep in mind that at this point we didn't spend any time with Kirigiri. And Mukura's hitting on him like a boss! I don't... I don't know if Sakura-chan would start developing feelings for Makoto. Because she already has a love. I know Mukuro obviously likes Naegi, we all know that. We know Kirigiri ends up liking Naegi. And I've got a suspicion that Oi likes Naegi. So... Let's see if I hit, you know, hit for me over the head. Huh? I mean, me as a woman. That question with that pause and that face. Oh, it melts me because, oh, that's all it takes. You gotta be a sweet guy. 
that looks like he has a genuine interest in you, and if she likes you, this is what happens. You know, I was reading, it takes seven seconds for a guy to fall in love, and it takes women a lot more. So, the psychology behind that is that after the first or second date, the guy's already figured out whether or not he likes the girl. Genuinely. In terms of love. Whereas girls, it takes more like 14 to 20 dates. Oh my god, here we go, Nike, my boy. Here we go, here we go. What do I think? What? What I'm trying to say is... Do I... You know... Womanly charms? Well, I mean... Wait, is she asking does she have womanly charms in general? Or asking if you like her womanly charms? If you get friends or Nike, I'm gonna slap you. Wait, where's all this coming from? He is so passive, it's adorable. Oh, you... Oh, you just... Oh, you just broke her heart. You... And look, she's got the whole training program. You just broke her fucking heart. Where's this coming from? You might as well have just grabbed the spear and plunged it in her chest. Because that's probably what it feels like. People have always told me how I'm not ladylike. And I mean, I can't really disagree. All I'm good at is sports, exercise, and physical stuff. But I think maybe that's just because I've never actually been in love. Since I've never fallen in love, how can I say I'm a woman? So that's why, um, um, I want you to be my boyfriend. Wait, I'm a little conflicted here. I thought she had a genuine interest in Nike, as in, she genuinely liked Nike. Now I'm starting to get the feeling that her interest in Nike is because he's the first potential suitor to come along. But, let's be honest for a minute, our first relationships would have all probably been like that. You were either the first, you know, you know what I mean? Like, when we were all younger and, you know, the first time we got a date, it wasn't like, oh my god, we're in love, we're perfect for each other. It was kind of like, hmm, well, I was the first person that came along that she liked enough to go out with. You know what I mean? It wasn't like, oh my god, it's a match made in heaven. It was kind of more like, well, you're the first one to come along that was sort of ticking enough boxes for me to say yes. And I felt fuzzy inside. Or in my case, she would have been the first girl that I found attractive enough. And I liked enough that I had the balls to grab the courage to actually ask her out. Ah, cute times, cute times. I want you to be my boyfriend. Uh, no, I mean, not like my real boyfriend, just like a practice run. I'm not saying it. Practice run? Cause, I mean... I'm not a woman because I've never been in love, and I can't fall in love because I'm not a woman. Maybe you just haven't found the right guy, for fuck's sake! It's like a vicious cycle, you know? No! It's not! You just have... Oh, whatever. Okay. So my strategy is, I'll do a practice run to draw out my feminine side. So you think by dating a guy that you don't genuinely have feelings for, you'll develop feelings for him, or at least learn how to develop feelings. That's not how love works, honey. This is not the 1200s or the 1400s, where you had an arranged marriage for political and financial and family reasons, and then you more or less just had to learn to get along with the person. We live in the 21st century where you can more or less marry anyone you want, go out with just about anyone you want, unless of course your family's a bunch of dicks, 
and you can develop feelings for whoever you want. Which is fine, but you're kind of feeling pressured into it, which is kind of sad. It should happen organically, not that you feel pressured that, oh, I don't feel love, so I have to learn how to feel love. That's kind of sad. That's really sad. That way, I'll be in the perfect position to fall in love. So I'm asking you, begging you to help me practice and pretend to be my boyfriend. And in doing so, cock block him from getting any other girl in the freaking school. How selfish of you, Hina. But I mean, seriously? But... You're the only one I can ask, Makoto. So in being the ultimate friend for Hina, you're essentially cock blocking yourself from any other potential girl because they all think you're her boyfriend. So in doing so, you can either spark and fuel the jealousy of other girls that didn't really want you enough or wouldn't accept that they wanted you. So if they're like that, they'd want you more because they see you have other options. But at the same time, genuine girls, such as Kirigiri and possibly Mukuro, wouldn't want you because you're with another girl. But then again, Mukuro was fucking stalking Naegi when he was with Sayaka in all those posters. So, you know, Danganronpa 3 posters. So she would probably stalk him and possibly kill Hina, whereas Kirigiri would be like, fuck off, you're dating another girl, piss off. But then at the same time, after Sayaka died, she hit on him like a 747, hits into two towers. Well, shit, that was dark, but you get what I mean, right? Maybe I'm just too logical for romance. Girls fall in and love gold guys and all that shit. I'm too logical for romance, I think. I, I'm like 90%... I did one of those personality tests. I'm like 95% logic. Which is unfortunate. Well, not really unfortunate, but it's just who I am. I mean, how many other guy friends do I have? Ultimate friend, huh, Naegi? Please! I'm on my hands and knees here. I wouldn't even take that long. Hina seems really serious about this. Fine, I guess I can help for a little while. <laughs> you mean it? Alright. So, what am I supposed to do? Mm. Uh, good question. If Nike was an assertive dickhead, like some guys are, he'd take advantage of the situation. But being a sweet guy as he is, he wouldn't do that. That's the one thing I like about Nike. He's not a dick. Um... <laughs> well, whatever. Let's just get started. Whatever. Okay. Okay, here we go. Wait, what? Um... Oh, darling, you're home. Are you ready for dinner or should I get a bath going? Wait, is this a boyfriend or are you fucking married? Wait, Hina, that's more like a stereotypical 1950s married couple than anything. Oh, different approach then? Mm. Well... That's you lied to me! You said you left your wife! <laughs> hey, Hina! Can you be Anastasia? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> That's even worse. Huh? Really? No way. You mean... I can't even get a practice run right? You know, a guy's not gonna like you because you could fit the role of whatever sitcom you watched. It's more about if he's dating you and he likes you for who you are while you're dating, he's probably gonna like you for who you are when you're further down the track. If you start changing that, you, you, you're you gonna take away the very reason he liked you in the first place. So why are you trying to be someone else? Be yourself. Was that the fatal blow? Well, unless you're role playing or you're shooting one of those sleazy high production pornos. Yeah. Seriously, what am I supposed to do? Just become that one crazy lady who gives up on love? No, just be yourself. The girl that fucking goes topless on the balcony every morning. Hold on, let's dial it back. First of all, do you really need to go through all this practice stuff? I, mean... I told you, I'm not ladylike. Even if that's true, I'd say that's just part of your charm. EXACTLY! 
Wait, me and Aegi are agreeing on something. Holy shit. Huh? huh? If you push it and get all nervous, that's totally not you, right? Personally, I think you just find the way you are. Because, I mean, that's who you are. Ah, oh, shit, Nike's giving the same advice I am. Huh? Makoto. And falling in love is supposed to be fun, right? If you stress about if you stress out about it, where's the fun in that? I mean, not that I know anything about love either, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Um... No, it does. If it's you saying it, it does mean something. God damn it, Nike. Maybe you're right. I shouldn't push it. I should just be me. You got it! I just have to wait until I meet the right person. Like Jason Statham. That's the guy who was in Transporter, The Expendables. He used to be, I think, an Olympic swimmer or diver or something. And then he became an actor. They found him in a gym or a dojo hitting the punching bag. He's a very good kickboxer. He's fucking strong as shit. He doesn't have that, like, V body that most models have. That it's like a big chest and small gut. That's like a V shape. You get that in a gym. He's got the more square shape. Where he's got the muscle and also the ab muscle. Because as you know, all your power in, you know, your punches and your kicks comes from the middle body. So if you have a V shape that looks like a model, you know, a small gut, you have no power. You can have the biggest muscles in the world. No power. Because it's all the hip action, you know, the abs. The, you know what I mean? Like Sakura-chan can tell you. If you look at Sakura-chan, she doesn't have a small abdomen or sides. She's got like a sort of blocky square, like a bear sort of thing, right? And so when she kicks or she punches, all that weight and power from her core is going behind the technique. Whereas if you don't have a core, you have no weight, you have no power, you have no twist. And that's where power comes from. That's why Jason Statham, if you look at him without his shirt, it's not gay because he's, he takes off his shirt so many times in a movie. He's got that square body shape. You know, he's got very strong abdominal muscles. He can even do flag poles, you know, where he's holding on a flag pole and he's perfectly 90 degrees holding his body up. You know how much abdominal strength that takes? A bodybuilder or a model would not be able to do that. They wouldn't have the physical strength. But I see who you're into and that's really cute. You have very specific taste. I think you'll be waiting a while on that one. Well... Considering how athletic you are, you might actually meet him in a gym or a dojo. So, by you being you, you have better odds of meeting him than you otherwise would faking to be this lady. Because guys like that that spend so much time in a freaking gym and a dojo and working out and pumping iron. I don't think they're going to be after a lady that's wearing expensive cloth and silk and dining at very expensive restaurants. They're going to be too busy eating their steak. And drinking their protein shake. Eating their steak, drinking their protein shake. I'm gonna make that rhyme. We're gonna write that down. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Makoto. You definitely helped lift that weight off my chest. Your boobies. And on top of that, I kind of had fun practicing with you. Oh, by the way, if she does that whole, honey, should I get a bath? The guy's gonna be like, what the fuck? I'm gonna ask you to help me again sometime. If you want to practice something, Hina, practice to know how to make a good steak. That will get you so many bonus points with a guy that works out like that. Protein? If you know how to make a good steak, I mean, the guy would probably know how to make a good steak. But if he's, like, tired and he comes back from the gym, and you make a good steak, you're going to get an amazing cardio session in the bedroom. He's going to go for, like, 45 minutes nonstop for you. Because man needs his cardio. No, I think that's enough practice for me. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh. Then, if it wasn't practice... Huh? <laughs> Kidding. I'm just jerking her around. Don't say that word! A joke, huh? Well, joking on, I definitely feel like I've gotten a lot closer to Hina. After going through all this with her, I think I understand her a lot better. Yeah! She's gonna make some athlete out there very happy. Because they're gonna be going boing, boing, boing like rabbits forever. I think we've finally become friends in the truest sense of the word. So what's your type, huh? What kind of girls are you into? I ain't telling you shit, Hina. I ain't telling you shit. And even you guys don't know 100% of the type of girls I'm into. You guys know a little bit, and you know little elements, but you don't know, like, everything. I gotta keep some things secret. Makes it interesting for the long run. Huh? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, come on, don't get embarrassed. <laughs> You just unlock the skill 
ambidextrousness. Wait, did I read that right? You know, I got more fired up about love than I expected, and we went back to my womb. But you both went back to your room, or you just went back to your room? Love, love, love. Day 41! So we only have 11 days left. So today's the day, though. I, I, I doubt we'll have enough to build it. Shit. Yeah, we can't. We failed! <laughs> this is unacceptable. You better start taking this seriously. I know you can do better than this. Anyone could. So next concept is... Warlock Kuma. Seriously? Alright, day 41. I'm gonna go spend some time at the gym. Because we've now completed all the free time events with Hina, uh, Sakura, Mukuro, Mr. Monokuma. And since we don't have any trip tickets, we're gonna have to do free time events with someone else. Because we can't progress uh, Mukuro's free time. Because I think by the end of this, we're only ha gonna have enough time to get Mukuro up to 10. And then we're gonna see Byakuya and Sakura and hopefully Mukuro's ending. And then we're gonna have to get someone else's free time events done. And then we're gonna have to do school mode again, I'm guessing. Because the only thing that carries over is the skills, not the items. So, it's going to be interesting, but I gotta go pump some iron and do some workouts because I have a competition in two weeks. Which is going to be interesting. Because life's been a bit crazy this year, life is getting crazy, but this competition's the Asian Pacific in two weeks. And then there's the European Championships in November, which I think I might be going to. So I'm going to see how things go. Anyway, I'm going to go to the gym and see you then. Until next time, did you come out? Bye. Okay, we are back. And now let's see Mr. Monokuma so he can tell us exactly what is going on. Look at is on two and a half. Well, that is awkward. And I don't have any tickets. Oh yeah, and I don't have any tickets, which means I can't spend more time with Aoi because we already did her free time event. Which means we need to spend time with someone else. Ooh, tempting, tempting, tempting. Who shall we do? Let us do a game of Eeny Meeny Money Mo. Come on, guys, it's fun. Now then. Let's do Eeny Meeny Money Mo. Mm. Eeny Meeny Money Mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he scratches, let him go. Eeny Meeny Money Mo. Mondo one. Wait, but we, we, we can't, like, win this one because Mondo's like... Ah, uh, I, 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 mm. Okay, so we did Aoi, we did Celeste. Wait, did we do final free time with Celeste? Did we? Did we? Did we do final free time with Celeste? Let, 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 it, let us see, let us see, let us see. Alright, let's see if we finish Celeste. I know we got her ultimate little thingy in the actual game itself, but I don't know if we did the final event. I think we did. Let us just double check. What would you like to do with Celeste? <laughs> do not ask me that question. I'm an evil, evil Kuma. Okay, let, uh, let us see. Well then, shall we have a bit of a conversation? I see. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I have no affection for you on a personal level. What a bitch. She's such a bitch. I love it. I spent some I spent some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Hell yeah. Alright, she likes hip rose tea. And an affair ring. Hip rose tea. And an affair ring. Do we have an affair ring? Is this it? I is this what the affair ring is? What, what does it say affair ring? Phoenix Diamond, Zol's Diamond, or Peak, what? Everlasting Bracelet, Eternal Friendship Blade. So this must be the affair ring, the love status ring. Wear it on your right hand and you're looking for love. On your left hand, you found it. On both, well, that's just asking for a catastrophe. <laughs> Let's just give her this, it's so perfect. Interesting, the gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted. Mm-hmm. This is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion, is it not? You are the devil, woman. You are the devil. Seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. <laughs> Look how quickly we have become such close friends, Makoto. Have we now? Indeed. So let me share with you something. I will tell you about the biggest crisis I ever faced in my gambling life. Here we go. Biggest? You had a gambling crisis? Maybe it was a crisis of conscience. I don't know if she even has a conscience. What happened? Hmm. 
A shadowy organization was hosting a mysterious tournament. The game in which I participated was called King of Liars. King of Liars, eh? Are you okay with this? It was quite a severe game. When you enter, they strip you of all your assets, money, property, and everything. You must use your wisdom, cunning, and luck to battle through challenge after challenge. For the final match, I had to face off with an odd duo. They call themselves the Honest Woman and the Liar Genius. Now well, they sound pretty crazy. Actually... Oh, the, that part is not important. But during a break, I was careless and spilled some tea on my clothes. I was terrified that the stain would never come out. Are you freaking? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Whatever. That was a very difficult time in my life. Huh? Honestly. I was forced to win more quickly than I wanted, so that I could rush to the cleaners. I, I was able to get the stay now, but it was perilously close. <sighs> if I had waited even another hour, I would have been forced to throw out my favorite dress. That was her crisis? The biggest crisis she ever faced. I just don't even know what to say. Celeste's report card has been updated. You've unlocked the skill menacing fuck. Positively dizzy from Celeste's fearsome past, I went back to my room. That was not what I expected. Or is she just full of crap? I don't even know if she's honest oh. at this point. I don't know if she's telling the truth or just feeding us crap. Oh, it's a holiday, which means no trip cards for me. <laughs> Shit. Okay, well, we did our final free time with Celeste. I think. Let, let, let's check our report card. If she has a star, we're finished with her. What? We don't have a star next to Celeste's name. Are you serious right now? I, I, I think I finished it. Apparently not. All right, Celeste, tell me more of your secrets, even though you're full of crap. What would you like to do with Celeste? I will not answer that question, for it can be used against me. Not that, get your minds out of the gutter. Well. Oh, you wish to stay close to me? Yes. <laughs> I am not surprised. Yes. I spent some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. Let us give another love status ring. So, you know, like she gets a catastrophe. Wow. So I could have this? I may have to revise my initial impression of you. <laughs> the more wonderful things I receive from you, the better impression I get. She's got a bell on her ears. She's like Drymond. You know that little bell Drymond wears? Seeing Celeste so happy with something I gave her makes me happy. Mm. Mm, Mr. Makoto Naigi. Oh God, that look. What's with the formality? Let's see. Well, you see, I was hoping we could talk, just the two of us. Wear a condom, Nike. She's the type of girl to, you know, want child support. Without telling you that you have a son. Could you come to my room, please? I'm worried for Nike. Your room? Indeed. I will be waiting. I am interested to see what is in her room. Nike's just like, oh shit. What am I supposed to make of this? Inviting me to a room all of a sudden. And she seemed almost shy. No, I must have just imagined it. Go, Nike. Go, my boy. I did what Celeste asked and headed to her room right away. Like a good boy. Oh my god. I what? I'm so happy. I'm glad you came, Makoto. She's got a freaking chandelier. This is bullshit. She's got a whole chandelier. And she's got a bunch of takeout boxes. She's got a crown of diamonds, of course. Naturally. She's got a coffin and red roses like a freaking vampire. She's got a skull and a tea set. How very Victorian of her. So this is Celeste's room. Anyway, what's going on? Why'd you ask me to come here? Actually... I received the results. Ah shit, he's the father, isn't he? Results? <sighs> the child grow in my belly. It's yours. <laughs> Nike? <laughs> Did I not tell you to wear a condom? Now you're going to be paying child support till it's 18. Nice work. 
Wait, sorry, wrong results. Ugh. You can't just say stuff like that. Nah, she just did. <laughs> Congratulations, you have moved up a rank. You are now C rank. Wow. Huh? C rank? Actually. Oh, I have a habit of ranking those around me. What kind of habit is that? <sighs> the most common is D rank. I have no interest in D rank. I am not making a penis joke right now. Most everyone at this school fits into that category. The worst is F rank. If you're F rank, I pay a special organization to have you killed. Your very existence is unforgivable. Somehow I believe her. I hope she's joking. She doesn't sound like she's joking, but I hope she's joking. <laughs> Conversely, the very best is A rank. But amongst everyone I have met across all countries, I have never even found a B rank, let alone an A rank. This is fine. So you being promoted to C rank is a very great honor. I see. <laughs> also, when you become C rank, you gain the right to become my official servant, a knight. Wait, so he for me became a knight? Nah, <laughs> a knight in shining armor. Wow, I had no idea. Indeed. I have knights all across the world. They are all quite obedient. So, are you like a mistress or something? She is, isn't she? Let's see where this goes. I'm sickened, but curious. I recommend you take me up on this offer. If you do your very best as a knight, becoming the first B rank may well be within your grasp. What's B rank? You actually get to see it with a like, clothes off or something? Perhaps even A rank. I can't be sure, but I feel like you ha may have the potential. I can never tell how much of what she's saying is a lie and how much is the truth. But after talking with her so much, I feel like maybe we understand each other a little better. <laughs> mm -hmm. So as a knight, please be prepared to give your life for me. Uh, I haven't actually decided yet. <laughs> Definitely can't let my guard down around her. Oh my god, she's got like so She's so Vic- I think it's Victorian. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Victorian. Is it? Is it Victorian? Could be Victorian. I'm not sure. What? She's got like- Oh, th there's a probably a hairspray on the left-hand side. Oh, okay. No, but I swear to God, she's got a freaking coffin. She sleeps in that thing, doesn't she? She's a vampire. I guess I can call her my friend, but this is one friend I need to be careful with. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. Wait. We've never been to Kirigiri's room. Does that mean we have another free time? Oh my god. So less report card has been updated with your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Nice work. I left Celeste's room exhausted and dragged myself to my very own room. Congrats, you've been to three girls' rooms. What would you like to do? Go meet with someone. I mean, fuck it. Hit, 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 hit. I think we should save Kirigiri for later. I, like, we're gonna go in our room, and then we're gonna spend free time with her. Wait, if these are all free days, Mr. Monokuma, what am I supposed to get more trip tickets? You bastard. Okay, so we've done that. So, we, we, we should really spend time with someone. Wait, we haven't been to Byakuya's room. Let's try it. Let us try it. Spend time together. Let us try it. Don't make me repeat myself. How many times do I have to tell you you're annoying? Feel free to crawl off and die. Well, that kind of felt shitty. Uh, let's give him a tea. Maybe he's pissed off because he hasn't had his tea. Oh crap, I don't have coffee. I'm fucked. And I'm out of scarabs. Shit. Let's give him a radio. Bitches love radios. You, you bastard. How did you get your hands on this? I got it out of a mono mono thingy which is about this big. It's Time Lord shit. It's bigger on the inside. Even the collective force of the entire Tagami Corporation wouldn't be enough to obtain this gem. A fucking radio? You could probably get one on eBay. Naturally. I, I'm gonna hold on to this. Y you do that. Seeing Byakuya so pleased with something I gave him makes me happy. 
Wait, is it even possible uh, to go to Byakuya's room? Maybe he's just a dick. Oh, who cares? We don't have many days left. Oh god, Toko. Oh boy. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna... Okay, okay, okay. Let, let, let's see what we can do. Let's just keep throwing shit at Byakuya. What do you think? Alright, you lazy bastards. Get working. Done and done. What would you like to do? Go spend time with someone again. Wait, is it even possible to go to Byakuya's room? I should have five more radios. Let's see if giving Byaka Dick five radios does the trick. Does that even rhyme? No, it doesn't. Let, let, let's just keep spending time with our prince. Or as his name translates. I think his name translates to White Knight, doesn't it? Come on. So wait, I have no interest in commoners like you. Sure, I'll just give you a fucking radio and you'll love me. Byakuya and I grew a little close today. Would you like to give him a present? Hell yeah. How many hearts does Byakuya freaking want? He's the biggest... He's the most, what's it called, high-maintenance friend I've ever had in my life. He's not even my friend. Is he my friend? Golden gun? Fuck you, you ain't getting a golden gun. You're getting a frickin' radio. Take that. You, this you bastard. How did you get your hands on this? Okay, he's giving me his whole Tagami Corporation. Are you serious right now? N nothing. I, 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 I... I spent a whole freaking day with you, you bastard. Hey there. Oh my god, Junko. Let us go back in time. It may not actually be possible to go into Byakuya's room. What the? Huh? Okay, so I, I'm guessing we, we've done the room with... Have we done the room with Mukuro? Have we been to Mukuro's room? Did Mukuro even invite us to a room? I don't remember. Did we? I, I'm so confused right now. I, I, I cannot even right now. D d do all the people invite us to their room? I don't think so. Wait, Byakuya had a star. That means we were done with him. Sayaka has a star. Are we done with Sayaka? I am so confused right now. I am so freaking confused. L let's see if something happens if we hang out with Sayaka. I am so confused right now. What would you like to do with Sayaka? Well, probably stab her in her abdomen. She tried to kill us! I take that shit personal. Oh, you want to talk for a bit? Sure, that sounds nice. I hate you already, Sayaka. I spent time chatting with Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Sure. What would you like to give her? Let's give her a fucking knife. That's appropriate, isn't it? Do we have a kitchen knife somewhere? Easter egg. <laughs> That's funny. Spare bat, school crest. Let's see, a man's fantasy. Red co- <clears throat> Okay, let's see if we- If facts. Mm, screw it. Fuck it, let's just give her a hand bra. I don't care anymore. Sorry, I don't know how much this means to you, but I'm sorry. I'm not really interested in things like this. I think I made her mad. She probably thinks worse of me now. Whoops. Whoops. That's a little disappointing. L let's see if we actually give her a good gift. If we can progress. Because in the actual game, we spend, I think, two or three free time events with her. Because we have to. Or four. And this is it. So, I don't know. So let's give her a good present and see what happens. Because it's letting us give her presents, but it does this for a lot of things. Everlasting Bracelet. A handcrafted item made with needle and thread. They say that once you put it on, it will never come off again. Okay then. To receive something so wonderful makes me happy, but to get it from you, Makoto, I can't begin to describe the feeling. Seeing Saika so pleased with something I made makes me happy. And nothing happens, which means we've done all the free time events with Sayaka, which means we just have to give her trip tickets. So we've done Celeste, Kirigiri, Sayaka, Byakuya, and Mukuro. We've done five. We're halfway there. I think we should leave the free time events to another video. So next time... Wait, we need trip tickets, so we can't do Kirigiri. Okay, so next time we'll do someone else. Anyway, till next time, Ninja come out. Oh, by the way, don't forget to like the video, comment with timestamps if you want to discuss a certain section, and check out my Danganronpa 3 reactions you probably have already on the Ninja Kuma Reacts channel. Till then, Ninja come out. Bye. And share with a friend. Do it. Without warning, it began to descend. Deeper and deeper.
deeper, deeper, deeper still. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper it fell! Oh wow, I thought that was gonna go on forever. I closed my eyes, and sight fell away. All sound, too, disappeared. Too much emphasis on two. Alone in the universe, I waited for the elevator doors to open for the last time. 